Welcome to this uh, Paul R. Torrens session on transportation as a public health issue beyond getting from point A to point B. I'm Frank Matricardi. I'm a member of the, the Health Forum Planning Committee, and I'd like to acknowledge um, the leadership of, of Dr. Mike, uh, Professor Mike Galper, who's headed up uh, our planning committee, also Dr. Jane Valentine, and my buddy Lisa Soroka, fellow consultant extraordinaire, uh, who helped us plan this entire uh, session. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Dr. Uh, Ron Brookmeyer, the dean of the acting dean of the School of Public Health, the John Jonathan and Curran Fielding School of Public Health. And having said that, I want to acknowledge the presence of Dr. John Fielding and his wife Karen right here. Thank you very much, John and Karen. Now, uh, many of you know that uh, the the events named in honor of Paul Torrens. Um, our beloved professor emeritus of health policy and management at the UCLA Fielding School and also my doctoral chair. Thank you, Paul. For more than 40 years, Dr. Torrens patiently guided, mentored, and advised generations of students, helping many shape distinguished careers in public health and in uh, other areas of health. His vision to create a community forum to discuss critical issues in public health inspired the speaker series, which now bears his name. Um, now, before uh, uh, I introduce Dick Jackson, I want to tell you a story about him. Dr. Jackson uh, is an old friend of me and my wife, Deanna, who's here also. And she met Dick back in the 70s when he was at CDC and he led the first study and research into the effect of pesticides on farm workers. Prior to that time, no one even knew much about it until Dick publicized it and researched it. Now, he's, he was, um, he's Professor Emeritus at the Fielding School of Public Health at UCLA. He's a pediatrician. He's been with many leadership positions with the California Health Department, including his highest as the state health officer. He succeeded Dr. Bonta, who was appointed by, by uh, Governor Gray Davis. And he, while at CDC, Dick established major environmental public health programs and instituted the federal effort to biomonitor chemical levels in the U.S. population. He's received its Hero Award from the Breast Cancer Fund, Lifetime Achievement Awards from Public Health Law Association, and New Partners for Smart Growth, for Smart Growth, the John Heinz Award for National Leadership in the Environment, and the Sedgwick Medal, the highest award of the American Public Health Association. Dick Jackson lectures and speaks on many issues, particularly those related to built environment and health. We are delighted to have our old friend back here on campus and speaking tonight. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Dick Jackson.